we making the creamy Cajun chicken, you know, pasta, and I'm finna level it up, but guess what? And do we sausage. Now, if you guys come on here and take a look over this way, you can see that it's not no whole lot of ingredients to it, right? So, I'm finna get this out, because we're gonna start to go ahead and just brown our chicken. All right, so look, now that I'm set up, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and start building me up a little heat, right? I'm gonna start like at a medium flame. Look, we finna just cut this down. I don't have to like hit this and smash it or nothing like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Eh, it doesn't make a difference how you do it, you know? Just make sure you got a sharp knife and you cut these down into bite-sized pieces like you like them. All right, so got everything cubed up nicely. Look, this is nice and hot. You can just see how when it moves around like that. You know what I mean? And I can see the shimmers on it. I can feel the heat. So if I just wanted to make a test, there we go. Now we just go ahead and just add them. All right, so listen, these are what I'm gonna be using, right? You guys can use any type of pasta that you would like. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I got my water already, you know, boiling. I've already put, you know, a couple of pinches of salt in the inside. I'll do that. Then I'm gonna come here, just give this a stir. Make sure I get this back up on high. Once it start boiling, I'm just gonna do these al dente. I want you guys to follow the instructions that's on your box, right? That'll tell you what your time you need. In this case right here, I'm only gonna need about 11 minutes. So what we wanna do is, while that's, you know, working, I'm gonna go ahead and just take my onion. I'm gonna dice this. All right, folks, check it out. Look, I'm gonna turn this off. Usually when you run this across, whatever kind of spoon you're using, when you run it across, you can feel that it's gotten a little bit on the soft side. Remember, we're doing al dente, right? So now we wanna stop the cooking process. So I'll just take it here. I got a colander inside of my refrigerator, I mean inside of my sink. Cold water. Okay, so one of the things that I cook with, I know it's against what my grandmama, what she did was, I cook with a meat thermometer, right? If you guys come in here and take a look at this right here, look, you see that? And just to let you guys know, look, what that say right there? Smoking and grilling with AB. So check it out, I always temp like my bigger pieces just to make sure. When I turn it around, that's it right there. 170, I'm good folks. You know what I mean? Uh, now, I'm gonna go ahead and just add my onions. All right? Then if you got anything, it depends on what type of pot you're using or pan, right? It'll pick up all of the fine off the bottom. That's what those veggies do, especially when it comes to the uh, your onions, you know what I mean? That right there, that acid just picks up everything. But these are non-stick, you know, pots and pans. So look, if you look right there, I can just move anything any kind of way. It's already up. Now for my favorite part, folks. Whew, the garlic press. Here we go. And then I'm gonna come with my Creole kick. Now you guys, if you don't have this, you can always use your favorite Cajun seasoning, right? We rocking and rolling now. Look at that, look at the color. So we got all of that going in there. Look, let me get this can going. We gonna open this. I'm not getting ready to drain nothing because we want all of the flavor, all of the juice, all of that comes into play, right? Check it out, here we go. When it comes to the andouille sauces, right? You got two ways you guys can do this. You can put them in a little bit earlier. You know what I mean? When you're going ahead and doing that brown and if you want to put some of that color on there too. All right, then when you get them cut, look at this right here, look. See how they go in there? Some half, you do it like you want to do it. Look at that right there, folks. That's it. Now, we're finna come with a little bit of that coriander. And I don't know if I said it right now, but if you guys look over here where my left hand is at right here, keep that hot soapy water, folks. As you notice, when I take stuff over here, I drop it in there and in between these takes, I'm washing my dishes as I go. Right about now, this one I want to add a little bit more Creole kick to it, right? Now it's going to be time to go ahead and add our heavy whipping cream. So now we got to make it creamy, right? So this is what we're getting ready to do. We're going to add our heavy whipping cream, right? So I just pour it right here in the center. So we just move this around like this. And if I need to add some more, I will. But I'm giving you guys the base ingredients just to get started. And it depends on your cooking style, how we get down. This is what I mean when I say I cook it down. You know what I mean? You can see it's starting to get creamy on its own, right? 
So now will be a good time for me to go ahead and take this lemon. I'm gonna use my hand as my strainer, catch them seeds. Now, what you guys didn't see when I went ahead and poured, you know, my pasta into the colander is I had already took out myself some pasta water. This right here is gonna be key. So we take this and now we're gonna introduce, you know. I'm gonna go ahead and put it all in here because I can because I started out with a pot that was just big enough, you know, for it all, right? And so now we just start moving this around just like this. Now, in the past, I've been known to not, I don't mind having it this way, but for you guys that need to have it like super, you know, like super, super creamy, I'm gonna go ahead and do that too. That's why I'm showing you guys about the pasta water, right? This helps it, you know, to adhere. So what we're gonna do is, which I left out, my heavy whipping cream, right? We're just gonna add a little bit to it, right? It's probably gonna cause me to have to go ahead and, you know, re-season, but that's okay, all right? So we start bringing this around like this and you can see, you see how it gets a little bit more on the creamy side? And then when I add my parm to it too, that's what does it. But we want it to stick, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of this pasta water, you know, right here like that. And then we come over the top with it. I'm not gonna add no more, because now we finna bring that parm into the game. All right, so look, I done already took pictures of it and all of that. You know what I mean? It's starting to get a little bit, it won't be as creamy as it was in the very beginning. But I'm going to add some in here like this. And then I want you guys to pay attention to the size of my chicken. You see why I did it that way? I don't want them little small, little bite-sized bits. You know what I mean? I want to be able to know when I put that, when I bite down on that chicken, I want it to be right. All right, man. You know what? Ain't no need faking. I've been sampling in this the whole time. You know what I mean? Out of my bowl, right? Got a fresh spoon. I mean, a fresh fork. Let me go ahead and get a little hand dewy. Right, a little chicken, Whew. a little bit more pasta. Come on here, there we go, folks. Cheers. Mm. This right here, <clears throat> let me just say it like this. Look, let me leave you with this because look, this is like important to all of us, right? Budget friendly, chicken is, you know, uh, inexpensive. Uh, pasta's inexpensive, and if you put green onions like I did for like the garnish or whatever, but I really put the green onions in there. If I was gonna do garnish, I would've put parsley, but the green onion is for the flavor, right? Then you got your seasoning, super easy on the pocket. I mean, when I tell you, listen, a pot like this will probably feed six people. Um, it depends on who them six people are though, right? Probably, I say four to five, you know, nice size bowls. Hey, with that being said, try this. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. You know, and uh, hey, I got to read it. Tell me what else would you have put in this? There's so much you can do. You can go chicken, you can go. I mean, there's so many ways you can do it. Hey, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. This time I'm finna exit to my right and I'm gonna leave that there. I'm out, peace.